in, Woody. Hiya, folks. I'm happy you could join us. Woody and his gang have a real fun show lined up for you. You'll see many cartoons. But that's not all. Woody promises a special feature. There'll be lots of laughs and excitement. <laughs> I'll be right with you. This time, nothing can go wrong. Okay, here we go with another cartoon. about it for years. What about plants? I'm thieving. <laughs> uh, uh, to continue with Washington, a beautiful friendship arose between George and the woodpecker. And many an afternoon, they were seen yachting together on the Delaware. <laughs> Later, he got a government job and had an important part in the signing of the Declaration of Independence. By this time, there was a big run on the East Bank. The word had leaked out in the old world, and the new world became so popular, 
that Horace Greeley had to say. Go west, young man. Just call me Baby Crewcut, Horace. So he took the train. And when the east met the west, a woodpecker was there to drive the golden spike. Uh, when I nod my head, uh, you hit it. At Custer's last stand, there was one lone survivor of the horrible massacre. Uriah Woodpecker. Oh, no! In the winning of the West, Wyatt Earpecker ruled with an iron hand. Always vigilant. Stop, thief! We want to hear about France and Fifi. Well, in the shadow of the Eiffel Tower, La Apache Woodpecker loved, laughed, and danced his way through the streets of gay Paris. for a picnic. Goodbye. Oh, no. 